Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a Linux distribution that I've been following with great interest, Aaron OS. Following a recent post where they explain that they're not just another distro, but rather propose themselves as an infrastructure, I decided to take a closer look. But what does that actually mean? Is it just marketing? Or is there really something new going on here? Let's break it down, point by point. Number one, a stateless system. Aaron OS doesn't want you to mess too much with the system. System files live only in slash USR, and the default configurations are already well designed. Basically, the system doesn't retain local state. Sounds familiar? Yes, it's the same approach used in Fedora Silverblue and even more so in Nix OS. So no, it's not a new idea, but Aaron OS aims to simplify everything while still keeping things powerful. Atomic updates. Now we're getting serious. Every update in Aaron OS is a transaction. It creates a complete new version of the system, and only when everything is ready, it gets activated. If something goes wrong, you roll back. No more broken systems after updates. We've seen this before in Nix OS, GUIX, and in OS tree-based systems like Silverblue. But Aaron OS seems to integrate it all with its own unique logic. 3. The dot .stone format. This one is genuinely theirs. The dot .stone package is a binary format indexed and compressed, designed to be lightweight and fast. It's kind of like Flatpak or Snap, but with more precise control over where files go and how they get installed. So while the concept isn't entirely new, Aaron OS develops it in its own way. 4. Transactional Root File System Each system change builds a new, complete root file system. Nothing is changed live, everything is prepared in a separate space and only activated once it's ready. That means instant rollbacks, total consistency, and no corrupted files. Again, this reminds us of Nix OS, but Aaron OS is doing it with different tools. Number five, automatic bootloader management. Last but not least, the bootloader. In Aaron OS, everything is automated. You don't touch grub, you don't configure anything. The system detects everything, updates the boot entries, and launches the new version, all without you lifting a finger. It's not revolutionary. But in the world of general-purpose distros, it's still a rare thing. So, is Aaron OS a revolutionary distro? No. But it's a smart synthesis of ideas we've seen elsewhere, built with great coherence. And that alone makes it stand out in the Linux world. If you're looking for a modern distro designed to be solid like infrastructure, keep an eye on it. It's not mainstream yet, but the project is definitely worth watching. Thank you for watching.